um, let's hear another poem. Okay, well, I'll where do... you're asking those questions or answering those answers or something like that. Well, here's one that's in the book called Concentration. Ravens line the sky at dusk, maneuvering the moon into positional importance, coaxing the stars out of hiding, smudging the horizon with random roar satch patterns. A rich scoop of licorice ice cream melts over the skyline. Silence takes shape, awakening ghosts. If I concentrate, I can see you walking toward me, smiling through a veil of tears. I collide with myself as your essence moves through me. The longer I concentrate, the less visible you become. When there is only haze and a slight scent of aftershave lingering in the air, I wonder where you are. I wonder where you are. All right, now I'm going to ask my standard question. The air, the air conditioning came on just a little bit. It's pretty hot in here, but you can leave the door open if you want. If you want to, to be cooler. Yeah. Um, the you in that, now that doesn't sound like you're talking to a candidate, that nope. sounds like you're talking to somebody else. Yes, other people. Like people that you've... you've that have, have been in my life, supposedly, they definitely in this one, and I'm sure in others also. Right. I was describing, the reason I asked, is this like a new thing that you're thinking about? Because I was, I, it was partially summer, but about a month ago I was feeling really dreamy, like I wasn't really kind of quite here, and I sort of said something about that on Facebook. And one of the guys that is friends with me on Facebook went off on this whole thing about how what you're feeling is the fact that there are infinite numbers of you that exist on other, and and that's what you, you, you're, you're like seeing through the veil a little bit and you're feeling that. And exactly. I was like, whoa. <laughs> true, true, true. And then you come in here and you start talking about this very thing. I'm like, so I wonder, and he's about my age and you're a little bit older than me. And so I was just thinking if it's like something where we just sort of start settling into that like we kind of just become more aware of it again or something like we maybe probably knew of it when we were if this is true we probably had that sense when we were really small you know why i'm sure we did my granddaughter uh, when she was about two and a half years old we were laying in bed one night and i said i forget why i said oh nana's getting old and she said oh well don't worry now and I said, well, you know, I won't be here forever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be gone one day. He said, well, don't worry about that. You'll just come back and be reborn again. And this is a two and a half. And I said, wow. why would you say that? She said, because it's true. And uh, she knows nothing about yeah, it at yeah. this age. Wow. Yeah, she's just barely talking. Yeah, yeah. Did you feel that when you were younger? Um, uh -huh. I remember when, <laughs> I feel like this is weird talking about this in public on air. You brought I, it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to sort of, you know, help with Candace, but... Um, uh, I remember when I was a lot, like until I was about six years old, I had this recurring dream in gr great detail. And it was the same dream every time. And it um, was like in a war, like in a, uh, I won't go into all these details, but it was something that I would not have known. Okay. And then when I got older, I wondered, oh, I wonder if that dream was like the remnant from something that had happened to me before I was born into this life or whatever. Like, Because I do believe in that. I do believe that we come back more than once and that we've got lessons that we learn and that there are certain things that we have to keep repeating until we get them. And, you know, and I, I, do, I do believe in that. I mean, whether we can prove it or not, I don't know. And would I die for that belief? I don't know about that. But I do, that sort of makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. well, you so, know. It, may, it doesn't make any sense to think of, like, <coughs> why would everything end, you know? Why bother if it's all going to end? Yeah, I guess it gives you more meaning if you think, well, the lessons I'm learning in this life, I might take in, even if I don't consciously take them into the next life, I will still and Just have... imagine if we came back as a drop of water, a very brilliantly mm -hmm. smart, intelligent drop <laughs> of water, and we decided which tap we were going to come out of into whose house and into whose body share our water knowledge. <laughs> wow. Well, you can pretty like that. And, yeah. So this is what we decided to explore. So the book is called Merging Dimensions. Yes. And it's published by Ecstasis Editions. Okay. And how did you get published? Uh, what was the process there? Uh, Richard Olofsson is the publisher <laughs> and I believe the owner but I don't know. And uh, I had invited him to be a 
guest at a, a Royal City Literary Arts Society fundraiser membership drive a couple of years ago. Anyway, he uh, got a couple of my books there. I got a couple of his. We proceeded to chit-chat back and forth, and uh, he basically uh, said, you know, I've, I wouldn't mind publishing a book of yours if you have a manuscript ready. And I said, well, I can get one ready in a few months. Mm. Okay, yeah, please do. I said, okay, I will. And that's actually on the front of the book. That's my painting also. Oh, wow. Merging dimensions. Wow. Yeah. So you kind of see the, the dimensions. If you look on the very front, they kind of... Right there, there's another thing's happening above there. Oh, okay. There's another dimension that's merging. It looks way better in the actual painting so that than on like, the book cover. So it's like horizontal levels? Yes. Like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So when people buy this book, where can they buy it so they can see this and read all these poems? And I'm figure not out sure where Ecstasis... They can buy it from me, but Ecstasis has quite a few distributorships throughout North America, so I guess the best way to buy it would be to go on to www ecstasis editions okay and that's and e probably it's on amazon i just don't know okay that's e-k-s-t-a-s-i-s -S -S editions ecstasis yeah. editions yeah. um we're listening to 